Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Omega Strike, a kind of run and gun Metroidvania in where you have these three distinct characters that all provide a different ability. And we made it through some of the resistant caverns in the last episode. I kind of like this map thing. I didn't notice this in the first episode, but it kind of shows you there were, we got two of two of the life cubes. That's what that is. One of one of the med kit and one of one of the treasure, it looks like. So we found everything. We got to save points are red and the area exits are yellow. I like that little bit of information there in the corner, kind of a key to let you know if you've done everything in the top right it looks like we have a overall maybe percent complete so i would assume we're what 2.5 percent complete from the whole game i'm not sure if that's in the length of the game or in the items to collect that is something that we'll have to figure out later on and see how that works out we are still in the resistance cavern the uh, story so far is that we started making superhumans. Dr. Omega started making superhumans. They became too strong and Dr. Omega took his superhumans, basically tried to take over the world. We are a small band of resistant fighters trying to take him back out. Well, 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 what do we have here? Looks like the good professor finally got his teleporter working. Let's see who's hiding at the other end, shall we? Oh, he just, oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, that's not good. Your friends will make excellent test subjects for my latest experiments. You, however, are not so lucky. Well, that means I got to fight using this guy, which is going to be interesting and why they forced that on me. Dozer, get in here and dispose of this rebel scum. Okay, so we, oh, I don't like him. Ha, huh. I will crush you like a worm. Time to die. Oh gosh, run, run, run. So he's just gonna be, oh, oh, okay, duck. Oh, he, oh, okay, he can duck too. He can duck too, I gotcha. So I'm just gonna do this here. Oh, he, he jumps sometimes. Okay, good to know. Jump. Are you gonna be shooting now? Okay, I've kind of figured out his pattern so far. It looks like jump, maybe another jump here, and then he's gonna shoot at me. Nope, he's gonna jump again, but that's okay. I could shoot, oh, my fire's not that long. That's not good. I have kind of wasted that a little bit because I, was, I ran too far away from him. Okay, he's shooting. I wonder if it matters how close I am when I, when he jump, when he does the jump, if I'm really close to him, he's gonna not jump. And if I'm really far away from him, he'll, he will jump again. I don't know. Let's see, we almost, we're doing not too bad here, I gotta say. I think if I can stay semi close to him and do that fire when he's shooting up high, that really helps. Run. If I could just lay down and do that fire, it's... Re oh, he jumped again. I wasn't ready for it. I should wait until he actually picks that because he does do a little movement there and range raises the gun slightly before he shoots. So that knows if he's going to... There, oh, there we go. You can see he raises the gun up to his eye level a little... Ah, shoot. We're almost dead. Run. Run. Jump again. Yep. Raise it up. There we go. Come on. Die, 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 die. No. Nope. Oh, yeah. We got him. Sweet with one little bit point of health. That's the way I do it, right? <laughs> Just barely by the skin of my teeth. There we go. We have gotten the health cube, and it looks like it opened up both areas. That's really cool. So I can go back if I want or go this way. I like that it filled up my health at the end of the battle but it looks like i still cannot switch between my different characters so we're gonna have to see if we can go save my friends and that might be part of it now at the game is i gotta find 
my friends. Now, can I crawl? I cannot crawl under that. So let's look at the map. Okay. So I can change map left and right. That's good. Okay. We have zero of three health squares or well, they're called health cubes, I think. And one treasure chest to find in this area. I like that I know that right off the bat. But we only have one character to play with. I like that we were able to use all three characters and then they took it away. So now I got to figure out how to save my friends. Let's see what we got here. What is shooting up there? I can't tell. It's like a little rock worm thing. And I should probably just duck on this one. Ooh, yeah, we got a turkey. So I can't do anything about this. So we're gonna have to find my friend here. My, uh, I forget the, the individual names. They did name them, but I forget their names. And if we find him, we'll be able to end up going that way. And there is another way down here. We're gonna have to figure out how to kind of crawl or roll under that some way, shape or form at some point. Let's keep going and see what we can, what trouble we can get ourselves into. I'm liking the enemy creation and the level design again. Parallax scrolling. <laughs> I know you guys probably have no idea what I'm talking about. In the first episode, if you're if you're not watching these episodes, see I record a lot of usually I sit down and record two or three episodes at one time. In the last episode, I was talking about that technique in which you you have two backgrounds and they scroll at different speeds as you can see it has a really nice three layer parallax scrolling here which is very impressive i like it quite a bit <laughs> so in the last episode i talked about that but i forgot the term for it because i'm recording several of these in one at a time it just popped into my head that's the word i was looking for in the last episode so sorry about that. That's that's just too funny. It looks like we've entered a town here, which I didn't know. So we're in the Tumbleweed Desert and we are welcome to Tumbleweed. So it looks like we've entered some kind of town, interestingly enough, and I'm trying to figure out how this is going to affect everything. There's this nice save point. So the save points don't seem too far from each other. Let's see. Oh, that's Einhorn. Ah, you have arrived. Marvelous. Welcome to my laboratory. What? Dr. Omega has abducted your friends? That is grim news indeed. I will have to improve the teleportation device so this will... That this happens never again. But there is still a chance to save your friends. You see, we've been unable to reach Dr. Omega since he rules from the Omega Citadel. A flying fortress that is protected by powerful force fields. I have recently learned of a decryption device that is used to lower the force fields. Only his most powerful commanders might have such a device in their possession. I'm sure that where you I'm sure that where you find the commanders, you may also find your friends. That that sentence seems to be worded badly. The first step, though, is securing a means of transportation. Talk to Mac, our local helicopter pilot. He needs help with his chopper. After that, it is up to you to find the decryption device. I know the mission sounds daunting, but I have all of my faith in you. Return to me once you have secured the device. Good luck. Okay, well, we've got our marching orders now. We need to find a decoding device to lower the force fields, but we gotta talk to Mac first. Mac is the local helicopter pilot, I guess. And we'll find him. I did see a doggy out here. So we're gonna have to see if we can pet the doggy. Can we pet the doggy? He barked! Ah! Oh, I love it! Yeah! Oh, Granny Jenkins, have you seen my granddaughter, Goldie? She's always up to some antics with that darn bear. She has a bear? Your granddaughter. 
has a bear. Well, that's a pretty cool granddaughter, I gotta say. I sell the finest meats in town. Would you like to have a look at my selection? Yes, I do. So we got a chicken treat, a double, a tumble weed, a double burger, and the grand fee. So four health, eight health points, four health points. Let's get a couple of chicken treats because this does four health points. This does a, there's no benefit of buying a double weed, a tumble weed double burger. A lot of times you'll do double the health, but not double the price. You'll pay like 80%, you know, so five to restore four and eight to restore eight or something. Your price goes down when you restore more health, but this is linear. Four, five, eight, 10. That's a straight linear line. So. I do chicken treat makes more sense in my that I can use it to fill up without wasting more and this doesn't make sense until I get a lot more health considerably three times eight which would be 24 health so I would need like a lot more health before I could do that so let's grab a couple of these yes let's grab uh, Let's grab four of them. I got plenty of money there, it looks like. Let's see if we can find who else we got in here. Oh, Freddy. Hey, I'm Freddy. Welcome to my place. I wouldn't recommend going any further since my house hasn't been faded by all sorts of nasty bugs. If you want to help me out and go buy some of those bugs, you can keep any valuables that you find. Well, I am going to go blasting. Because right there, that tells me that there's some valuables down here. If somebody tells you that you can keep the valuables, then that means there are valuables down there to keep. That's just straight up the, the way it works. Okay. Let's see if we can drop down here without getting hit here. Now, is that guy gonna, little beater, beetle guy, makes me think, oh, I can't jump on his head. That guy makes me think of the beetles in Super Mario Brothers. I'm not sure if that's intention, but that's exactly what it makes me think of. More bugs. I don't like bugs. Let's get these guys taken care of. And this guy should be able to take on. There we go. Like that. I got to be careful. We're getting a little low on health. I don't want to get like half health is bad. In my opinion, you don't want to be. I don't want to be typically lower than half health. I try to avoid that. I can get a little bit closer. Run out of my bullets. I like when creatures obey what you ask them to do. Okay, so it looks like we... Do I get a map here? Okay, so we're in Tumbleweed. Okay, so it's still one big map here. Okay, I gotcha. Little beetle I can't kill. Ooh, there's a health cube. I'm not sure. They have not told me exactly what these health cubes do yet okay life cube still have it now how many life cubes do i have here inventory Wait, that's not what i want to do oh there's our weapon upgrades hold on let's let's we'll check that out in a minute I inventory so a mystery red a mysterious red cube that seems to be glowing slightly i have no idea what that does yet i'm assuming I'm thinking I'm pulling my Zelda knowledge here and saying that if I collect four, it may give me another another life cube to my health. But that's just a shot in the dark from what I know about Zelda here. But abilities, I didn't see this. So we got our special abilities and our weapon upgrade. So definitely we have the rifle damage would be the, the main guy that I'm now. The launcher damage would make me think that's the guy that has the bouncing kind of grenade like weapon the strong guy and then the shotgun damage is the one that double jumps so range and damage for each of those we can upgrade at some point so that's going to be interesting and i wonder if like some enemies are going to be hurt by some people or some enemies are going to be hurt by some weapons and not by others like his rifle will not be able to hurt those beetle guys down there 
but the launcher might be able to because it's stronger and will be able to break the shell. I don't know. I'm just kind of thinking about like possibilities on where this is going to go. Not sure. There we go. Enjoy your stay. Well, okay. Let's see what these guys have to say. I'd love to help you fight Dr. Omega, but I have to guard this fire. <laughs> will you keep guarding that fire for me? I want to talk to you. There we go. Where is it? It keeps. There we go. It like. He's just laughing at me. Well, you're kind of mean there, buddy. If you're looking for some extra firepower, you come to the right place. Special price just for you. What do you say? Snake? I don't know. I'm not sure I'm going to trust anybody with the name Snake. No offense to anybody out there that may have the name Snake, but that just puts a little on edge i should say okay so emergency beacon teleports you back to tumblewood tumbleweed i wish i could read here rifle damage upgrade mark one wow that's cool rifle range upgrade mark one so we're gonna have to basically buy these items here to upgrade and i think range will be better that's probably no that's definitely mac right there that that's mac i want to see what's over is there anything that i could do over here i'm not thinking i'm thinking this is going to block off until i'm able to get my people back i think oh i was kind of lucky there let's see what this guy has to say welcome to a tumbleweed program did you know that a blessed man once walked this cursed earth he had the gift of life bestowed upon him captured by dr omega he was his body turned into small cubes of life that's kind of gross actually to be honest with you if you ever happen to find some of these cubes come talk to me again i did i did tell me what they are good to see you again pilgrim would you like to offer your life cubes in exchange for a blessing I don't know. I really don't know because I don't know what the blessing does. Yes, let's yeah, sure. I'm sorry. You need four life cubes to make an offering. Okay. So that's kind of what I think it's going to be. I get four life cubes and give it to him. He's going to give me one whole cube of life back. I think I'm going to get a new cube of life because I collected four of those. I did not want to pause it. I wanted to look at the map for a minute okay i want to was i able to go the other way i didn't really want to go the other i'm torn on this here really torn right here which one i want to do let's do range upgrade yes and i'm going to assume that just automatically upgrades me if i can figure out how to get to the yeah abilities again so rifle range it's yeah automatically i don't have to like select it or do anything with it get back over and talk to mac here i'm wondering what is considered the area here so the professor sent you to help get this baby back in the air again eh the engine is busted i ain't got the spare parts to fix it but the good news is i know where we could get some new components a few months back, a helicopter crashed in the mountains east of here. You can go find it and salvage the parts I need. It won't be easy though with Dr. Omega's cre creations crawling around everywhere, but I think it's our only shot. Here, take this power core. You'll need it to get past the eastern gate. I'll wait here till you find those parts. Okay, so that's going to unlock the door over here. There we go. And we are allowed to uh, go on further to be able to get. So we're going to go this way to get the engine parts. I think this is going to be like the first part of like the mission in general because or like this area's mission because we've got to not only we got to go right, but we have to end up going back to the left once we pick up our friend the big burly dude he's going to be able to push that rock out of our way and that's definitely going to have to be done after we pick up 
him. There's no way I could do that right now. So we're just going to wait and see how that all works out. I'm going to say we're going to be basic. I'm going to say that we're going to have to pick up the other two people or find them. Oh, he's got grenades, man. We're going to have to pick up the other two, our two friends and be able before the end of the game. It's not going to be like, because I think that's part of the main mechanic here too. So we're going to have to pick up our two friends and then go into like some more areas and then finally we'll be able to fight the main Dr. Omega. It's not going to be like right here. I'm trying to figure out if that's going to hurt me or not. I guess I could test out and find out. Ooh, ouch. That was a very, very bad jump there. Ah, shoot, should I go back? I think like in a lot of my playthroughs of various games, especially when there's multiple areas and stuff, I typically search out an area before I, like I try to fully unlock an area if possible before I go into any other doors. So I don't have to come, I think that'll limit my need to come back. Oh shoot, I, I made that and I didn't think I was going to. There we go. I, I didn't know I made it, but I ended up getting hurt. So I wanted to go back down and clear out that way before I go on through this. Ooh, cloud atop mountain. Wonder if there is another save spot. I'm kind of getting, oh, this is a whole nother area interesting i'm thinking there's going to probably be a save spot soon because they seem to be doing that when i enter a new area there's fairly quickly a save spot so you can see the save spot there if i flip over here you go over a couple sections there's the save spot and you're here there was two save spots in the resistant caverns so we got yeah it looks like we're gonna have to come back and get some of these things sweet but we do have four life cubes now so when we go back to the priest we should be able to get an upgrade there and that's going to be interesting to see how that works out because I, i'm assuming that once i have four it's just going to let me oh see there's another place i can crawl through once i have four it's just going to give me a new heart i cannot shoot that guy from that spot at all okay, we're just going to kind of peek up here a little bit and see what there's up here and then go back and say we need to i don't know how often or how much money we're going to be getting it looks like we're getting one gold randomly from certain enemies and i'm just not sure how prevalent and how much grinding we're gonna have to do to get like full upgrades that's gonna be a very interesting thing to see how that works out here we go we got him so i kind of want to go back and save i'm just peeking out here a little bit see what there is and i'm not too worried if we have to kill these enemies again because that's going to give us a little bit more gold so that we can pick up the power-ups but we're getting pretty quickly actually if we look at our inventory we have 76 already we had like 40 something i think we had what 93 and then we spent 50 so 43 so we got a good bit really quickly there it looks like so they seem to be pretty prolific and they're not trying to hide the gold from us basically they're giving it to us in most things not everything but in most things there we go we're gonna have it nice and saved and that's gonna be our episode for today hopefully we'll be able to find our friends maybe the next episode i don't know we'll just have to see thank you so much for watching and i will see you all next time bye everybody